Welcome back, VidHeads, to another great video. Do you own the Canon E50 and wish you had more real estate to hold it? After this. Yes, welcome back. One of the things I found out amongst a lot of creators, they love the Canon M50. And I think that's awesome because it does have some good imagery. My son has the M50 currently. Um, he came from the Canon Rebel uh, T6 and now he went to the M50. And one of the things I found out about the M50 versus the Rebel is that the imagery is sharper. Um, it seems to have more cleaner imagery and of course that's always a plus and he's a photographer and he loves going out shooting that kind of thing and so you know we were looking around for a couple different options to try to uh, enhance the grip of the camera because mainly the grip is a little smaller than most cameras it's a smaller camera but it packs a punch. When looking for solutions, I found this company called CustomBatteryGrips.com. And what they do is they actually 3D print a battery grip because no manufacturer that I have found, a third party would actually make this battery grip um, besides the little uh, extra reinforced um, small rig, but it's not really a battery grip. It's just a, a, a more robust grip to grip the uh, camera without adding the battery solution to the camera. So one of the things that I found is the battery um, to the M50 does not last long. And I haven't determined whether it's just a poor battery or if it's just a, a power hungry camera. I don't use it that much to know. But one of the things that I did find out is that I came up with a solution for the battery as well with this particular grip. Now, initially, when we got the grip, we got it together and all that. I liked the way that it felt in my hand, but it's not my camera. So it's my son's camera and he seemed to have liked it. But the problem that we have found is that when I ordered the batteries that go with this particular um, solution, which is uh, 18650 batteries as a 3.6, 3.7 volt um, batteries. Um, they didn't last as long as we thought. So we went through all of this and seemed to um, run into something that's a little bit more annoying than not having the battery solution at all. Until I found out that the Zion Crane actually has the same batteries. Now my Zion Crane 3 Lav used the same exact batteries, the 18650, and man, the cost is a lot cheaper for these batteries, and I have a lot of confidence in these batteries because they power, they power my gimbal for a whole shoot with no problems. So what I did was I started to assemble this particular battery grip. The first thing you need to do when using this battery grip is replace your real battery, your LPE12 with the dummy battery. And when you put it in the camera, you go ahead and close the door as normal, and then you can slide out the rubber grommet on the top. That's gonna reveal a hole where you can actually plug in the external battery tray. One of the things you need to know when assembling this battery grip, it is a pretty tight fit, which is a good thing because it does not have uh, any um, play in it where it's going to jostle around and make marks on your camera, which is a great thing. So you want to kind of be careful when easing it into the battery grip. And so what it does is kind of hug the hug the camera pretty well on both sides, front, and it has uh, in the back where it kind of hugs it. And then once you get it into the battery grip, then you use the quarter 20 uh, screw at the bottom to adhere it to the grip. That way it's nice and sturdy and steady. After inserting the camera in the grip, you go ahead and put your battery tray in the bottom, plug it in, giving your camera power, and then basically just put on the door. I like the door. Um, it's kind of it's kind of a cool little clever concept where they actually have magnets that actually adheres the door. And it's nice and strong. You can actually put it on and take it off. Um, pretty easy. It doesn't just pop off. It, it, it kind of stays in place. I really like what they did with that. It's pretty cool to know that they just printed all these particular parts. And then for the last part is the cold shoe 
we actually got the model that has the coat shoe so that you can, you know, a hair, uh, a mic or whatever you need to put on your particular camera. So for me, if it was my camera, what I would like to do is put like a nice little shotgun mic. I have like a little Rhodes mic hanging around. So I went on ahead and put that on there. I put my F5 uh, Fuel World monitor on it because now I have something a little bit more uh, robust to hold on to. And I kind of like that. Um, I think that this particular battery grip is actually pretty cool for those who need more real estate and gripping your um, camera, your rig, so that you can do handheld shots. For me, the smaller camera was hard for me to get my hand on it because I got big hands and to get these nice, good handheld shots, I was having problems trying to hold the particular camera. I also find that the grip does not get in the way of the swivel of the screen. It does not get in the way of the ports. Um, you, can, you can access your mic jack without a problem. You can access your HDMI and your, U, and your USB without a problem. So it does not interfere with any of those things. You can also change the external card without taking it out of the battery grip. You can reach in and, you know what I'm saying, open the door and swap cards if you want to. Um, I prefer to go ahead and just use the USB and connect to my computer and I don't have to mess with that at all. In conclusion, I just think that it is a very good solution for you guys who are looking for a M50 battery grip or a grip in general. Uh, without the battery solution, I still think it's a good grip. And with the battery solution, now you have longer recording time or photography time. And I think that this was a really good um, planned out clever solution for the M50. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and just comment down below. As always, the link is in the description where you can go right to their page and check it out. To all the new subscribers, welcome to VidHeads 2020. And we got a lot of content coming at you. So stay tuned. I'm your big brother, Aaron Jones. I got your back. Make sure you follow me on the social media. This is the channel where iron sharpens iron. So make sure you go out and film something and kill it.